To photograph the moon through binoculars, you will need to mount the binoculars by either using a board attached to a tripod and tying the binoculars down, or using a microphone stand with a boom as in this example. You can make the boom level, extend the microphone stand, and then meticulously tie the binoculars onto the boom of the stand. In my case, I'm just using some old computer cables versus looking around for some scrap rope as somewhere to use to tie the binoculars. You will then get the moon in focus through the binoculars. Using a small pocket-sized digital camera, it, the lens is small enough to fit on the eyepiece of binoculars. In this case, the Canon PowerShot SD900 is used for the camera. Using El Cheapo camera mounted onto a tripod, you will align it perfectly with one eyepiece of the binoculars. Because the binoculars aren't focused, you can use the zoom power on your camera and zoom straight at the moon and get it nice and large in the viewfinder. Keep in mind that the Earth is rotating on its axis and the moon is revolving around the Earth, so it will constantly be in motion as you try to photograph it. You will therefore have to be patient at constantly adjusting it. Now you must also make sure that the flash on your camera is turned off or you will get a photo like this one. Also using the 2 second timer you can ensure that there is no camera shake. Note in this photo how the edge of the eyepiece is interfering with the lunar facade. This photo also bears a very slight shaded area from the edge of the eyepiece. Making sure that the moon is perfectly centered in the eyepiece and properly aligned with the camera will ensure that you get a beautifully symmetric moon without the wrong portions shaded. Because the moon is bright, you can leave it at the lowest ISO setting on your camera. You are now equipped with the knowledge required to effectively photograph the moon through binoculars and cheap cameras. Enjoy! <laughs>